this is a joke of the century. The presidency has said that as 2023 approaches, the Nigerians Nigerians need to elect another leader like President Muhammadu Buhari who can clean up corruption and mess in the country. Corruption, which corruption? The one that they met before, the one they created, the one they said they ought to have cleansed or the one they ought to have removed or cleaned up. Is that what they are talking about? And the mess, which mess? Hey, these guys are 419, honestly. They are scammers. So they want to tell us that uh, the eight years was not even enough. So they still want somebody, just like uh, Tinubu said, that it's going to continue from where Buhari is going to stop. Presidential spokesman Femi Adesino stated this in his article on Thursday on his Facebook page titled PMB and the NDDC, which was a reaction of the, to the probe ongoing in the Niger Delta Development Commission. Adesino noted that they had been wanting corruption in the NDCC NDDC for over 15 years and things only started to improve two years ago. He said the Niger Data Commission is an interventionist agency created for the development of the oil producing region in the country, where it is meant to be an interventionist agency. But one thing is crystal clear. Despite hundreds of billions of naira invested over 20 years, the true intervention has been in the pockets of some select people rather than on the region and the lives of the people in general there is one thing president muhammadu buhari hates with a passion ground larceny exploitation and pulling once it's confirmed that you are filching from the public post you can never be his friend no matter who you are so he had to bring to a halt the gravy train that the NDCC had become over the years and no stampede, no route or panic. The house cleaning must be done and done very well and thorough. In the Niger Delta, you see plenty signboards but little or no projects. In other words, people collect contracts, erect signboards announcing the project but the job never gets done. And the contractors get paid. What to do? A forensic audit was necessary. Some powerful forces mounted robust resistance, but they didn't reckon with the iron will of the presidents. The audit was done and reports submitted. Additional added that if the resources pumped in pumped in over the years had been justified with verifiable projects, it would have impacted on the region and on the lives of the people. The case of NDDC is symptomatic of the lot of our country. An interventionist agency is established to serve the people and it turns to a private cash cow for a few people who has caused and bewitched our country that there are few men and women of probity and accountability in public life. See what has been happening in the same NDDC where all you saw were just symbols and no projects. About September last year, a special protection unit based six barracks built by the agency was commissioned by the Vice President Ebe Shibaju at Omaha in River State. Money was spent simply because there is honest leadership in the country. A 20, as 2023 approaches, I pray that Nigerians would consolidate and on honest leadership by electing somebody who can move us forward in probity and accountability. Buhari has shown us the way. May we never veer off the path again. Amen. There has been strenuous clamor for a composition of the board of the NDDC. It is inexorable that it would come, but it should never be the business as usual. We experienced in the past honest service to the people must be the watchword that is what president buhari has in mind and that is what we should get order is better than speed and we will get there he added hmm. continue to to praise yourself to high heavens or pray praise your masters to high heavens buhari just jumped from the ndc that is in niger data he job from the petroleum industry that is controlling now. We are hearing even in the finance, 
three point something billion dollar is missing. Sarah has sued them that the federal government is not doing anything about it. See the person they say that it does not like corruption, no. Now Sarah is suing them that there is a case that has been ongoing about three point one billion dollars missing from the finance account or department. They don't say anything. They have not said anything concerning that. How much they said they are spending billions of naira to be able to refurbish our refineries that he said oh they are going to build the refineries this and this and that at the end of the day nothing has been done but they are even the this thing they are even servicing dead refineries now we don't have any refinery but they will tell you that they've spent so 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 so, so much of money for this refinery of the thing and um, family you know is coming to tell us and that is the the one that is under buhari that he made himself the minister yes nothing is being done he jumped from that one to NDDC. god forbid i'm sure nigerians will say god forbid bad thing you cannot be cherry pick to do some things and expect nigerians to be clapping for you family additional can clap for him because that is where he gets his a uh, daily bread let nigeria never happen to me again let worry never surface again amen god will never allow it happen again not in this country because it is people like him that fill the corridors of power in Nigeria. So he can say that. He can say all this is, is feeding from there. This firm addition is feeding from them. When the Israelites demanded Jehovah God for a king without waiting for him to bless them with one after his heart, they got so. 2015, this time around, Nigerian will patiently wait for Jehovah God to bless them with a leader after his heart. God forbid someone like Buari in 2023, that is from fry pan to fire. Never Nigerians can, can't can allow that. We want a leader who run, who can turn Nigeria around for a better thing. Not somebody that will be... We, all Nigeria needs now is immediate action. All this nonsense, somebody will not be telling you that it is not easy. Because hmm, I hope uh, is, the 2023 will not be more disastrous. Because they will tell you that, hey, do you know the, the, the rot that this government has created? Those ones will not come again. They will not be telling you that you have to give us time. Oh my God. But when they, all the things that will be accrued to them, for them to do the work, they will be enjoying it and they will get it. But they will tell Nigerians who have been suffering all this while to continue to endure, to continue to make sacrifices. God forbid, but I cover Nigeria with the precious blood of Jesus. Affliction shall never rise the third time. It has risen the second time, but the third time, mbano. It's possible because it is only in Nigeria People like Buari can rule. Sincerely speaking, no Nigeria wants witness to witness a regime like Buhari's own again. Simply because a lot has happened, mostly not so good. We pray our next leader would be better than all the previous ones. Amen. Oh, I say a big amen to that.